Hi. In this session, we'll learn how to call uh, another report using the submit command. So this is a one report. Okay. So from this report, so currently what I will do, I will call a same program, but using the submit, submit command. But in real time, you can call any other program using the same concept. Okay. So what I will do here, see whenever you have to call a separate program to submit a statement. So in that case, first you should know the program name, which we want to call. And second, we should know the selection screen details, which for which the value we have to pass from the calling report. So two things are required, program name and the variable select options parameter, which we want to pass from the separate report. So here this time what I will do, because I want to call that report to submit program. So temporary, I will comment second part here. This we have already learned now. I will comment this, how to comment, select all, control and less than sign. So for all the rows, you can see a star mark here. So all will be commented. Okay. Now what is my requirement? I want to pass. I want to call this report by passing by passing the PO number into selection screen. Okay. Like this, I want to call this report from the separate report. So for that, here what we have to write submit the program name, which program name you want to call. I want to call this program name, that program name we have to copy and call there. This is my program. Okay. And go here, submit and you write with. After with, we have to pass the select options or parameter with the values. With S underscore EBELN. Okay, between. Now between means which value we want to pass. Okay, that value we have to pass here. So between now we have to pass value for S underscore EBLN. So here I am passing single value. So what I will do between JS underscore list EBLN and JS underscore list EBLN. I am passing single number only, but because this is select options, that's why we have to pass between. Okay, and if you have multiple select option, then at the same with and the other like variables one by one. Okay, second what I will do, I will add my radio button with R underscore R1 equal to X. I'm passing here EBLN and R underscore R1 equal to X. Remaining, I'm keeping all things as it is. And after that, Add this add and return and return. This means that once we one system called that report, and when user click on back button, system will again come to this report, previous the calling report. Fine. So now if I execute this report, so here initially we have all the details. This time I will click on peer number one five. Sorry, I have to click on any other field. Okay. So I'm clicking here. Now system should call the same report with only single PO. See, here you can see only single PO details in a second report. Okay. PO number 15. Let me try one more. And now this time I will click on PO number Sorry, again, I made the same mistake. I don't want to click on this field because if I click on particular this field, system will display the ME 23 n Now, if I click here, so you can see the PO number 8. Okay. So, in this way, we can call another report through the submit program. So, you learn how to call a transition code if you click on any particular field. Then, after that, as a part of interactive LV report, you will learn how to display 
the secondary report and now recall the last scenario of interactive LV report like calling another program using the submit command. So in this way we are done with this session. Thank you.